Okay. <laughs> yes, we're here. We, are. we are back yes. with yet another edition of the How to Jimmy Vegas Show. Uh, this is like our 5,000th show. Anyway, it's not. <laughs> We've done a few. Uh, anyway, welcome to this uh, episode of How to Jimmy Vegas. We are part of the newest magazine going. We've been up for several months now. What's up, dot Vegas? Right above you. What's up, dot Vegas? Not dot com. <laughs> What's up, Dot Vegas? Go there, it'll pop up. You'll see all kinds of fun things. The different shows that are going on, <clears throat> articles about superstars, articles about criminals, articles about uh, community affairs, uh, the election, all kinds of stuff. But mainly, the How to Jimmy Show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please do that. And when you do, click that subscribe button. This day and age, if you don't click subscribe, we don't get paid. It's just that simple. So click, click, click. Tell your friends to click. I need new hair. <laughs> Something has got to give. Anyway, I'm thrilled to, uh, that you're here today. Uh, I have a, a wonderful guest I'll bring on in just a minute. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to say that we're right here at Halloween. Uh, it's October. And uh, I had kind of tried to plan to have my friend come with different Halloween costumes and stuff. It didn't work out. But... Uh, Halloween's become a big deal. It's been a big deal for many years, especially in the gay community. Every gay club, every club, frankly, usually has a, a costume contest, a, a, a look-alike, a, a, some sort of thing where you want to dress up. And uh, every year, people go way up and above. My dear friend, Kenneth Blake, who I tried to get on today, uh, uh, he, he had a conflict. He has to work. He works on the strip. He worked in Lacage for 20-plus years. And he's a superior hairdresser, makeup artist, and he has great ideas for costumes of all sorts, especially if it's a lookalike. I want to touch real quick, as kind of a sad note. Uh, it came to my attention, to everyone's attention, a, a couple of weeks ago, that one of our newest clubs here in Las Vegas, the Bent Inn, it was downtown on 8th and um, Fremont, 8th Street. Uh, beautiful place. Lovely club, big screen TVs, a pool. It was part of a, a, of a resort area, a gay resort. You could rent rooms. The club was there. They had events, all sorts of events. I was just about to start to do my uh, Roxy Star bingo show soon. Unfortunately, it's had to close uh, for whatever reason. Contractors, this. There's always something, which adds to a long list of clubs that we've lost over the last year or so mm -hmm. here in Las Vegas. The Las Vegas Eagle closed. Mm -hmm. I used to work there three days a week. I did my show there once a week. The wonderful Judy Nelson ran that place for 33 years. It was there over on Tropicana. It's gone. There's gossip about someone reopening it. Uh, if you do, I'd love to bartend again. Uh, the Garden closed downtown. The Garden, mm -hmm. a beautiful venue where they had top-notch drag shows with the RuPaul girls, the top girls that work here in Las Vegas. Uh, the Free Zone closed uh, mm -hmm. over across from at the Fruit Loop, they call it. Uh, it closed, but it did reopen with a new premise. It's a straight bar now, straight country bar with bands. Still, uh, PJ Brazier is still the owner, but it's not really a gay spot anymore. Uh, the, uh, I said, the Free Zone, the Spotlight closed a year or so ago. It's now a Mexican restaurant. Uh, in other words, who, who did I miss? Garden Tuesday. My club. I hope we open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your I, club. We opened at the, at right the day the pandemic was announced officially was our opening day, basically. Yeah. So we didn't stand a chance. And me and my investors, we, we just, we tried so hard to keep it going, but we had put so much money into it. Boo who life goes on. Mm -hmm. But I do want to say support your gay clubs, all the clubs, but uh, Las Vegas is known for having very fun. As I hope I don't miss anybody. Mm. Top clubs: Phoenix, Badlands, Piranha, the New Gypsy, beautiful redo a year or so ago. Uh, the uh, Flex, Flex, the uh, Fun Hog Fun Ranch. Hog. Who am I missing? It's yes. pretty much dust. That's everybody, right? I yeah. know I'm missing somebody. It's the, it's the, uh, it's the uh, 
Back door is still open down Yes, back door is open. Back door is open. Okay. There are the garage. Really, the garage. Oh, what a wonderful venue. Yes. That is. Charlie's. Nice. That's the one that closed. Charlie's about well closed. Yeah. Charlie's closed after like 20 years. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got to get back on track, folks. So let's mm -hmm. keep our gay clubs lively, support them, get out there. I know I do. Uh, I just wanted to mention all that. Uh, I'm going to bring my guest on in just a second. Before I do, I want you to remember that uh, Las Vegas offers a lot. This is coming up, Gay Pride. We're right on Gay Pride week. The parade is this weekend. The festival is this weekend. Uh, if this doesn't air before, then I think it might. Uh, don't forget all that. Look it up. Support your local gay queens or drag queens. Uh, there's so many new ones, new talent that comes mm -hmm. to the stage now. Everyone starts somewhere. You know my story. I started in 1904 in Beaumont, Texas. 1804. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, I started, and I was very lucky. I would, I hit it. And I got to work on the Las Vegas Strip for 25 years. Fantastic. And you guys know all that. But support your local up-and-coming uh, performers. They need it. And uh, we're, we old gals are t trying to tell them, don't push it. Just be professional. Know your words. Right. Be on time. Yes. Don't miss rehearsals. Don't uh, bitch about your pay. Make sure you know what you're getting paid before you go. Ask the show director or the owner, what's the deal? Don't get mad at the end when they say, oh, it was a tip spot. You need to know that before right. you go in there. Yes. Uh, just common sense. Yes. And I wish everybody luck. And uh, and I'm just thrilled to death to have one of my best friends around, especially a showbiz person who I've known for years, but yes. recently come back and started a whole new thing. Yes. And I guess today is the one, the only, Derek ah. Daniels. Hello. <laughs> Derek. Thank you so much for having me, well, Jimmy. Fun to have you. I haven't had you like that, but I'm having you now. Well, it's, it's whatever <laughs> it takes, baby. Whatever it takes. And you know, you are the one of the first clubs that I've ever had the opportunity to, to perform at. And I thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. Which gave me the chance to be show my exposure, which made other people, other clubs and bars see my, my work. Everyone needs that first spot. Car, to be and seen. you were the one first to give it to well, me. I saw your your past. I saw right. your Facebook and all the shows you've yeah. done. You've been around a long time. I have been around. I like to think I've been around, but you've I know oh, you're you've young, been around younger too. than me. Okay, don't go there. <laughs> you've been around. I've been around, but you've been around the world. Yes. You know, born the, yeah. born and raised in Hawaii. I am a local boy from Hawaii. And I was always intrigued with dance and theater. But I began as a hula dancer. Really? I've been dancing hula all my well, life. Hawaii is your home. A Hawaiian traditional dancing. It's your home. It's, Hawaii is my home. Born and raised, and my whole family is all Hawaii. Yeah. And uh, I was also intrigued and always part of the theater in our drama department in high school. Sure. And uh, that when we became, uh, you know, doing the shows like The King and I, West Side Story, Hello Dolly uh, in high school. Were you performing or like? Performing, actors, dancer, acting, acting, singing, and dancing all yeah, together. All of it. I left Hawaii at the age of eighteen to go to Guam to do more Polynesian shows. Good. I went to Japan right after that to teach classes to teach hula, jazz, and ballet. Then my first big stop was in uh, Los Angeles, where I had the opportunity to audition for the TV series Fame nice. with Janet Jackson and Debbie Allen. Nice. And I wasn't going to be. There was a part of my idea to, to go to audition for that. Friends of mine, Paula Brown, who was a backup singer for Janet Jackson, right. told me, Derek, there's an audition for fame you should go to. And I said, Ada, I'm, go I'm on my way to New York City. I said, I'll just go anyway. So I went and got the gig. And they were shooting again in New York City, which is perfect because I was going to New York. And I started to do the gig back in New York City. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, as, you've just, as you told me earlier, too, I, and... Uh, we're going to talk about what we've done recently yes. in just a minute. I was but so happy about that. that. Uh, you were talking about all the different countries and that you speak Japanese. Yes, I also speak fluent Japanese. I did for three Say years. Say something in Japanese. Was that no, no, my Was that nice? <laughs> I don't know. I cursed I think, you. I think I'm going to get sushi. Was that <laughs> sushi order? I sushi know. order. Okay. Uh, I lived in Japan for three, three and a half years. And uh, I today I speak fluent Japanese. I go back to Japan at least three times a year teaching Hula nice. in Japan, in Good Tokyo and you. Osaka. Good for you. Russia? Yeah. I've been to Russia. I did a rushing. Uh, the cats come in Russia. Yeah. And dad's in the Bolshoi Theater in 1988. Well, 
once again, it shows you, I know have, when you came to Vegas, you started your own troupe. If you Correct. Will, uh, 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 younger, uh, becoming professional dancers, yes. people that are still learning, yes. people that are looking to get yes. a chance to break into shows. Yes. You've got them all surrounding you and you have your own production company. Yes. And from what I understand, you have your own uh, rehearsal studio. Yes. And a huge costume studio. Of costumes, yes. I which began, I'll be over to see. Very you soon. have to because I'm you're going to die from it. Okay. Yeah. You know, I always liked, I've always been a director, choreographer, yeah. producer. Surely I'm a performer, singer, dancer, but I would like to give them the opportunity to be part of who they are and what they are. Sure. And see, when I see potential in somebody, I say, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? So I started my production company, yeah. which gives people the opportunity to be part of my team, to learn my ways of what I got structured to do around the world. And one of my first Broadway shows I've done in 1985, Okay. Don't look at my age that way. <laughs> it was Cats on in the Winter Garden. Yeah. I did Cats for a year and a half. Then my second Broadway show was in New York City with Bob Fosse himself oh, doing wow. Sweet Charity nice. with the with the run and only B Billy Porter, and wow. Anne Rankin was our charity. Oh wow! I was in the that, that's that, that's in the old school days. That that's my time. Yeah. That's your time. It's my time, honestly. <laughs> and you're here now. Yeah, I started my, in Las Vegas working full time in 1985 at yes. the Riviera for years and years. And yet we took the show all across the world. Yeah. I've been to Canada. I've been to London. Canada, been to London. Australia. I've yeah. Been to, uh, uh, what's that other country? South America. South America. We've, <laughs> we've been, over there, over there, over there, over there. All right. Before yeah. we go too long. But I've actually, oh, I want to just uh, uh, okay. add that. I also worked with Grace Jones for eight oh. years as her backup singer, choreographer, and a personal assistant. I met Grace Jones in 1976. I bet you did. When I was in Houston, Texas, uh -huh. I was the headliner. I was the big drag queen, Roxy Star. Of course. At the big gay club there, old, back in those days, disco club. Yes, hey, just disco. Club, called the Copa. Yes. Well, the owner was able to get Grace Jones. He paid a fortune. Have to. She's she fucking expensive. Her contract. Yeah. You see, ridiculous. I have her writer. You know, it's about yeah, the stars yeah, have yeah. their writer. Yeah. I'm not even sure if I want to say this. You I can't. I love true. it. I love it because it's it's actually one thing, true. One thing. White limousine only. Oh, Do okay. not send her a black limousine. Right. She will leave. Yeah, she has some. You had to have stocked in the car. Certain, yes. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was crystal nice, champagne, crystal, and then a certain amount of. Uh, <laughs> Judy, medicine. yes, and, white snow. And it had to be authorized. Anyway, yes, it doesn't matter. It was the seventies, and Come she on. wants sushi, yes. uh, sashimi in her dressing room. And the temperature at the club could not yeah. be above because of be the warm. voice. It had to be warm. Of the voice, yeah. And we're talking about Houston, Texas. Oh yeah, it's hot yeah, as hell yeah, there. Yeah. Anyway, with one hundred percent humidity yeah. every day. You know, work with the you, crowd was, yeah. was dying, and she was thrilled. <laughs> yeah, just and happy. Of course, she did. In a, let's talk, talk. We could talk all day. We could talk. Let's all day. talk real quick before yes. we run out of time about the couple of shows you and I just did. Oh together. my God! Thank you so much. Oh, for, my for pleasure. Being part of our show I to work it together. To I love you. working with you because you're such a true professional. Well, you, you're gonna. I don't have to hold your hand. I can just kick her. And she she, well, she goes and, on stage and, and she does it right. An enthusiastic <laughs> person like you yeah. is someone I love to get to work with. Yes. Because you, it, it goes up beyond the foot. Yes. That brought, you get people excited about it. And yeah. like you be that. I noticed with yeah. your group yes. when it came time to do the show, the first one was at the Dust Club. Correct. The newest club in town, my yes. own place. It's called Dust. Yes. And they're doing tons of shows. Yes, there. tons. You did a show, Broadway Fierce. Broadway Fierce. Which it was. It was you had fierce. it choreographed. You had Dream Girls, Dream Girls, West Side Story. West, you had the all Wiz, the, the Wiz, Greece, so done. And Chicago. Girls, you, you commanded. The oh yes, director. yes. I'm a very strict I'm, person. I'm standing back. I run a tight no, ship. You do indeed. Yes. I stand back and I hear this. I go, girls, <laughs> stage now. Girls, oh, they listen. Dream Girls, go. Yeah, I they, said, they, 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 they. There, I want them to learn yeah. to do and have what i've had when i was raising up sure. and the discipline in those days we didn't have uh phones or internet we yeah. didn't we would have a chance to go home and look at a video and rehearse through, looking right. at the video and on your hear the music even, yeah. you wouldn't have that you had to go home show and practice and learn on your own and yeah. learn it That's and right. come back the next day That's uh right. well one of my toughest shows i've ever done was Radio City Music Hall with, with the Rockettes. I'm sure. In those days, we had no internet or, or, or phone, so we had to. You go home Monday, you learn a whole new number. You come Tuesday, a whole new number. Wednesday, a whole new number. Thursday, a whole new number. Friday, you review, you review all those four numbers. 
without reviewing so you better have been at home rehearsing you them better all. be at home doing you're that. ready to stretch your stuff and because if not there's a whole other line of outside waiting for you let's talk about broadway fears yes uh at the at the dust yes how many people were in your cast uh there were 11 11 people uh, I was there yes. as a special guest. So Absolutely. It was LaWanda Jackson. Yes. LaWanda's been on our show before. If you yes. Check, check her out. The legendary LaWanda Jackson. Yes, please and check her out. amazing talent, Brianna Douglas. Brianna Douglas. Douglas. Who was on our, sh our last show. She yes. She was my last guest. Wonderful. I love surrounding myself by super talented people. Yes, me too. Honestly, it makes my job easier. Yes. And <laughs> I love something surrounded by you because you uh, <laughs> you make my job easier too. Well, we and you're so professional with that, you know. And our next show is coming up in Halloween. Is we was going to do the Rocky Horror Picture Show right. at dusk, but we f we found out that there's two other venues that's already doing it. That's right. And I'd rather not have to not compete, but it's just more, one more Rocky rock Horror Picture. It's just you know, it's it's fine. So I'm doing my own original Halloween show called Welcome to My Nightmare. I love it. Which was used for the opening of the 90 Day Fiance. Which I did last year filming as my assistant is the new 90 fiance guy. Nice. And they shot the whole show, and that's part of his whole opening of his 90 fiance that's episode. Amazing. So and it's called Welcome, uh, Welcome to My Nightmare. To my nightmare. Yes. That's great. Then after we did the Broadway Fear show, yes. two nights later, yes. at the composer's room, we did a show that I had put together. Yes. Actually, it was your show. I called you because uh -huh. I had done the Lacage show yes. there the month before. Yeah. And I wanted to bring something a little different. I still had a touch of Lacage. It did. Yes, it did. But you yeah. brought yeah. Circus Fears. Circus Fears. Circus Fears. Yes. I love that. And you brought, once again, a lot of your cast members. A lot members. of my cast members. You, you cost, costumed. Costumed the whole show. Choreographed. Choreographed. Directed. Staged. All I had to do yes. was show up. And, and be fabulous. And go, hello. And then, <laughs> I love you all. And that's and that's what you do. You just show me fabulous. <laughs> and that's what I love. So, and I'm honored to work with you. We'll get to watch that. All so, right. Derek, besides yes. booking things months in advance, yes. uh, what, what else? What is your super plan? What's your My end, super plan end? is to keep going along with my production company and my yeah. team and hopefully to have us be able to perform and to be on the strip at one of the main hotels and casinos we're looking for a home we're looking for, we're a, looking home. for a home and and today like um i'm from like college days yes i'm a comedian I, I i do the big girls people know me know i, I did anna nicole smith yes she was big. yes uh, roseanne Barr, bleh, which i couldn't <laughs> even think about anymore but back in the day it was fun to do uh, Mama Cass. Oh, I all the big girls. Yeah, and I'm I'm able to. I have the gift of gab. You have the gift of everything, uh, and I love to pick <laughs> on the audience and have them pick on me. It's my favorite thing to do. I understudied Frank Marino for all those yes. years. I toured with my own show. Yes, many years as the star. Yeah. yeah, and and that's what I love to do, and I want to keep doing it. And I will keep you in my thoughts and now to you're produce here. my show because having you my show just amps up the quality of my show Thank it really you. really does Thank you, you know for, for many 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 different reasons from your from your from your professionalism to to your ability to how fast and how easy you can just you're like a double uh, sided sword well, you know you do it long enough and it, it long enough way forever back, way back to those <laughs> texas days <laughs> forever and forever all right, Derek. We could talk all day. We long. can. Thank you and I can talk forever. Thank you again. Come oh, back again. Soon. Just at the Gypsy, we're at the Gypsy every Friday night now with a new show. The Gypsy is at what they call the Fruit Loop. Yes, at the Fruit Loop right called Atmospheres. Yeah, and Naples. Yes. At, oh, Atmospheres. Atmospheres. Yeah, atmospheres. I love you using that name. Yeah, Fears is my is my is my new my, my, my tag word. my catchword. That's wonderful. Yes, it's called Atmo Atmospheres. Spheres. Yes, atmospheres. at the Gypsy. Las Vegas. The famous gypsy. All right. We'll look for you there thank and all you these so other much. places. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, I want to thank uh, Derek, of course. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Kenneth and all the places that I mentioned. Good luck. And um, look for us at what's up dot Vegas. Uh, we try to present, I write a column every couple of weeks to call how to Jimmy Vegas. And I featured stories about clubs and my advice to certain a little bit of everything it's just fun it's my crazy thoughts about what i like to write about and i appreciate the the the, the editors and all the people at what's up vegas magazine lynn collier debbie hall uh damon uh damon bloomberg everyone john styles who lets us yes, use the studio to film our he's show. bowing and john he's bowing he also has a show wwdb tv 
btd.com. I got it. Okay. Yeah. And he has his own show called Doing It With Styles. So look for that. And listen, come back and see us again soon. I'm Jimmy. Thank you again, Derek. Thank you so very much, and Jimmy. We'll see you next time on How to Jimmy Vegas. Thank you. Mwah.